What's up, girl? Do you sleep good? <laughs> Where are we at? The racetrack. We're at the racetrack. Are you excited? That is right. This is actually the first race weekend of the 2020 season. It feels amazing to actually be here. We are one of the few places in the country right now that are actually at the racetrack, of course, with uh, the pandemic that is going on. But uh, we are in one of the safer areas of the country. We have very, very low number of cases. So at the beginning of May, the state actually gave us kind of a soft uh, start to uh, get back to normal operation out here and uh, it feels amazing I'm so pumped to actually be out here so yesterday was actually the first track day that we had um, I didn't do a ton of filming just because we have a brand new combination in my car a whole bunch of stuff to get used to but I did make three passes down the track I was right next to the old man going down the track I thought, you know what, if I can just stay anywhere in the neighborhood of where the old man is on the track, I'll be happy. I launched the car, everything felt great. Made sure the car shifted, looked up, looked at the old man, and I was like, dang. ahead of you by the eighth mile he had got around me and then just took off his converter is a little bit tighter in his car and mine's a little bit looser so on the first half of the track I'm like out ahead of him and then the second half of the track he he gone he goes through about 175 and my car is about 169, 170. I ended up running a 777, he ran a 766, so the cars are comparable. I was just glad they both ran good. And when it got to the big end, I thought it was a little shaky. Things were moving around more than I liked the, the it. The track is marginal. The track is very marginal. The Tra track is marginal. We, so we, we should are, be racing eighth mile. We are yeah. very happy with the passes that we ended up with. Um, and the I was glad we were together. The, the numbers we laid down, I, I mean, I'm happy. 777, yeah, I think maybe we could, could gain a little bit on that, maybe, but... Oh, it'll be in the 60s. 760s, and uh, hopefully 480s to the eighth mile is kind of what we're shooting for, and... Oh, I just feel good. It's a weight off the shoulders. Everything went good. I was 15 on the tree. He was uh, 11. So we... oh, I was 15. You were 11. You beat me on the tree. Are you certain? I thought I was 15 and you were well, 11. Maybe. You were 11. Oh, what was I thinking? Would you give what was I thinking? Because I was 009 the first time, and this one the sun was really in my eyes. <laughs> Dude, listen, let's not listen to this guy. Then my second hit, I had a little uh, driver error, and the car didn't shift. I was kind of messing around with my new air compressor setup and I uh, actually didn't have enough air pressure in it to shift the car. It was just, it was just a, my mistake. And then hit number three was actually round number one of competition. And uh, so I was 17 on the tree, the other guy was 18, got down there and... the car dialed all wrong all I had was that one hit of information the computer was telling me it was gonna go way faster because there was a huge weather change the other guy ended up running out with a zero so the other guy was 18 total and I was 17 on the tree I would have basically had to run on with zero to win that race and I was nowhere close to doing that so that ended my day early but we're out here day number two at the racetrack feeling amazing Vera are you excited In other news, the old man actually went to the final round last night. Uh, he was on a tear, could not be stopped. Uh, he has got this 582 headhunter motor in here and it is uh, a pretty gnarly combination as well. Super consistent. And uh, he took her all the way down to the final round last night until he ran into a little uh, flat tire on the front of the car issue that we didn't know about and then actually gave him some trouble trying to stage the car. and. It was kind of a heartbreaker to lose the final round that way, but still a great beginning 
to the season for that guy right there. So anyways, race plans for me today include, you know, setting some realistic goals here. And, and my goal is to uh, just get comfortable in the race car. Just gotta get back to that comfortable state to where I can actually become competitive. So maybe the goal is, obviously I wanna go rounds, but uh, the main goal, I think, is to uh, just get comfortable today. I actually need to mess around with the shift point on the car a little bit. I don't know where exactly the right spot is for that. Yesterday I was running it at 2.1 seconds um, and I was kind of trying to set my GoPro to record the tachometer so that I could kind of see where it was shifting and I decided to bump that up to 2.3 seconds so we're gonna see how that affects it today so I might be messing around with that just a little bit but uh, like I said just want to figure out a couple things to get comfortable today What do you got? What you need. Well, it says Budweiser on the cup, you know. <laughs> sure does. It's not a calzone. Are you sure? Well guys, I've made two hits so far today, uh, one in each lane. I found that 60 foot was almost two, about 1.7 numbers slower in the right side lane. So uh, of course, my time was way slower in that lane too. So uh, track is a little bit inconsistent lane to lane that I found anyways. Uh, the old man's car, that thing just seems to flat work. I mean, it it's laying down numbers in both lanes, not sure. Uh, what exactly I'm doing different. I'm gonna you know, adjust the tire pressure just a little bit. We checked my old man's gauge versus mine. Um, we're gonna make a slight tire pressure adjustment moving forward here, and uh, hopefully we can get consistent 60 foots lane to lane. And uh, I'm gonna go back into the better lane now, uh, make the final time hit here, and uh, hope for the best moving into eliminations here today. First weekend out, 2020. And gosh, it is beautiful out here, you guys. What do you think, bud? Are you having fun here? You having fun here, bud? You're not seeing much at all. You're not doing any reaction at all. Probably can't hear you.
in the first round uh, qualifying this morning. The car just seemed to slow down a tick about every single pass. So uh, kind of expecting that trend to continue, but keeping an eye on the weather conditions here. We'll see what happens. The old man and I are actually on opposite sides of the ladder. So that's a plus. Uh, hopefully, I mean, and it's a short race today. There's only eight dragsters here today. So uh, uh, eight cars, that's only a three round race. So it's going to be a short race. I hope we can make it happen. Maybe we can meet in the final, but uh, we need uh, we need some some luck to fall our way for sure. Still a lot of uncertainty out here first weekend out. to get a W first round. I gotta show you guys this ticket. This was a tight one. This was a good one to get by, boys. So I was able to turn on the 008 light bulb and carried it through. You guys, my car's been running about 170, so I was getting rid of some. We ended up with 001 stripe running on the number with an eight. The other guy was 890 dial 13 bulb and run on his number with a four. So day one, round one. Racing is tight as always. Cars running good. Feeling good. Feeling confident after that one for sure. It is an all golf final, just the way we like it. Uh, yeah, there wasn't a lot of cars down here today, but uh, still a lot of things need to go right in order to make that happen. You gotta qualify on opposite sides of the ladder, and then you both gotta not screw up twice in a row to make that happen, basically, and we were able to uh, do that today. And I'll tell you what, I got a lucky one last round. I was red, but the guy was worse red ahead of me, so I uh, was able to sneak by there. Gonna have to roll a few numbers into the delay box and uh, hopefully go down there whack the tree down and stay out in front of the old man because I'm gonna be looking back this time. I'm still used to that. I'm still used to that looking back.
Monique was gonna win. Huh? She thought you won. She thought I won? Yeah, she's like, go dad, go dad. And I'm like, Vera, Papa won. I tried, Vera. I tried really hard, but Papa's just really good at racing, isn't he? He still can run so fast. I know, it just doesn't seem right that he's just not a human. He's a machine on the racetrack. Right? Yeah. Oh man, the old man. I really, I had her set on kill, boys. I had her set on kill. Trip, zip, red bulb on there. We'll see what the old man says. Well, I can't say I gave you that one. Thank you very much, my son. God! Trip, zip, red. And then I was playing with you and took four stripe. <laughs> you took four stripe? You took double O four stripe. How's that make you feel? You got the wind light on, that's how it makes you feel. <laughs> why am I why am I smack talking when this wind light is on? <laughs> Triple zero three red bulb in the left lane there. The old man was 19 and I man, thought I got on a breakout. Yeah, I thought I got around you. I really You're did. On a breakout. What? All right, so you were on a breakout. Oh, yeah. What? What was I? That? What did I run? You broke out. I broke out, and I wasn't. I was just playing, and I still broke out. So we were both hanging on to a lot of numbers. Should have rolled one in, maybe. Maybe just one. <laughs> Next time I roll one in. Trip, trip zero seven to the good. <laughs> we took all the money. Yeah. All the money. Every dollar there was. Good job, Dad. Take. All of Glen Rapp's money is going home with golf racing. <laughs> <laughs> Should I leave that in the video? Absolutely. <laughs> I would. I want you to know that with you I feel